Over the past year, there have been several changes on how we can use video campaigns in Google Ads to reach new users. And because of this, we wanted to update our video on video reach campaigns. So in this video, we'll still walk through a video reach campaign setup, and then we'll show you the new enhancements available within this campaign to see if you want to use it for any sort of brand awareness campaign objectives. Let's start off by creating a new video reach campaign. Whatever view you're in, you can create up here, but we're already in the campaign level view, so I'll go to this blue plus button, and let's create a new campaign. As I said in the intro, the main focus of a video reach campaign is awareness. There's reach within the campaign type name. So the only objective we can choose is going to be awareness and consideration. Of course, we want video, and making it easy once again for the campaign subtype, we want video reach. If I scroll down a little bit, some of these options are the same. You could choose target frequency, non-skippable reach, but to go over the new enhancements for video reach campaign, we're gonna stick with the recommended option, and that is going to be efficient reach. You see it right in the description, using bumper ads, skippable in-stream, in-feed, and shorts. So let's stick with this option and click continue. If your main focus is going to be video reach anyways, you really don't have to worry about this top campaign setting, but just an overall heads up, once you save and publish a video campaign in Google Ads, you cannot go back and change the campaign goal or objective later on. For whatever reason, if you're not happy with this performance or you wanna try something new with a different objective or different campaign subtype, you'll have to create a totally different campaign. But we're here for video reach. So go ahead, name your campaign, and now we get to the newest part of video reach campaigns. And surprisingly enough, this new feature is not automatically checked by Google. So of course, I gotta check it out for this demo. The basic ad format for a video reach campaign is still there. But this new feature to the campaign settings allows you to expand your reach with multiple ad formats. This does not require you to adjust your bids or even your campaign budget. So if you are trying to look to expand your reach, potentially lower CPMs, and still reach unique users, you may be interested in testing out this new feature. And Google says in the description, we will be able to get reporting on the individual ad formats. So initially, if you are starting to run all three, great. But for whatever reason, if you see one sort of ad format perform lower than the others or not perform well at all that you'd want to turn it off, you will have the capabilities to do so based upon the individual ad format reporting. For now, I'm going to leave everything running and let's finish the campaign setup for a video reach campaign. With bid strategy, I mentioned one of the goals of the new feature is to lower CPM. That is because it is the only bid strategy option we have. The selection menu is grayed out. We don't get any other option. Pretty straightforward. Next, go ahead and pick if you want to have a lifetime budget total for your campaign or choose daily budget. Daily just makes it easier because then I don't need a starter end date. Next, if you go down to networks, with this campaign subtype, we still have the ability to not show up on the Google Display Network. It is something I typically do because video partners is a feature that we're slowly losing control of for video campaigns. If you are running a video action campaign, we cannot turn this off. But for awareness, we still have the control to do so. I know in a more awareness focused campaign, you're thinking, why are you turning off the display network? Well, even from an engagement standpoint and a quality standpoint, it's not something I've been totally happy with for a lot of our clients. We try to make it as specific as possible. Hence, I'd rather have expanded ad formats versus expanded networks. And then if I feel like I'm not hitting the reach and frequency that I want, I can always come back and turn the setting back on. Next, choose your locations, choose your languages. With an awareness campaign, we can add related videos. I'm not gonna go over that specific extension, but you can check out a video here talking about related videos. Then for additional settings, go ahead, choose your devices, your frequency capping, ad schedule, and any third-party measurement. Another video I will mention is about frequency capping. This video that you see on the screen right now talks about the differences of frequency capping between video and display campaigns. But then we can head on to our ad group. Update your ad group name, choose your targeting options. For now, I'll just add a quick segment and then we can jump ahead. Okay, just added YouTube viewers. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we can start looking at creating our video ad. So let me go pull one of our videos paste it into the field here. Scrolling down a little bit, we can add in the final URL. Then we can go down and start adding our call to action. You can type in whatever you want within 10 characters or choose one of the pre-selected options. Next, you get 15 characters for your headline. See, there are AI powered suggestions. Add a long headline. None of the options here are great. AI doesn't work all the time yet. So I'm just gonna paste in something that's kind of pointless. And then add in your description. And for the bulk of this process, this is pretty much the same. 
Now, if you're wondering, well, how does the add format expansion or the new features that we were talking about play into this step right here? I'll explain. After you're done with one ad, you can expand the ad creation tab here and then start creating a new video ad. But in order to make efficient reach composition as effective as possible, you really need to upload several videos. And in order to show you what I mean, I'm going to jump to the support page talking about the recommended specs for efficient reach campaigns. I'm sharing the link to this exact page on the screen right now. It will help you to look at other things like recommended resolution, aspect ratio, that's fine. The important part is what I'm highlighting right now, and particularly the second square right in the middle. Because with everything that I selected in terms of allowing multi-ad formats, is that ideally we would need video creative for skippable in-stream, bumpers, in-feed, and shorts. And those four ad formats are very different. Let's take shorts for example. Google is recommending that you also upload a vertical video in between 6 seconds and 60 seconds. That recommended vertical video spec would, yes, cover shorts, but also cover any potential bumper ads on shorts or mobile. Up above that, they're also recommending a horizontal 15 second ad and a horizontal 6 second ad for any non-horizontal bumper ads. If you look at the square highlighted mostly to the right, you see in-feed videos can be any length. So the one that we uploaded for the sake of this demo is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. So really, it would be best suited for in-feed. We have mostly seen longer video content work best for in-feed videos if you do decide to use any long-form video for a video ad within Google. So one question you may have is, if I don't have all of these video formats, will Google still show my videos in some of these placements? And in some cases, yes. Google having the ability to crop videos to try to fit certain placements has been around for a while already, and I still see it when I'm personally using YouTube and video ads pop up. Just because I'm obsessed with paid media, I do like to watch the ads and see what other people are doing. And sometimes it'll be very obvious when Google is cropping videos because it looks funny. People are cut off. Sometimes words are cut off. So it'll always be recommended to have the video types that Google wants and to create multiple ad versions that could satisfy each of the ad formats as well as potential placements. But I'm not going to run through adding multiple videos for this demo. Go ahead, collect the creative that is needed, add it to this section here, and then you can go ahead and finish your ad group. Choose a target CPM bid, just popping in something there, and then go ahead and create your campaign. Notice here. They're still recommending that I add a six second or less video. So odds are I won't be shown on a bumper ad placement until I have one created. So it will limit my reach and the overall impressions and views for the campaign, but odds are I'm still gonna be shown in these other placements. So let's go to the overview. And then I wanna head back to the main campaign screen. I already have my columns adjusted for specific view metrics that I like to see. And one of the fairly newer columns is view rate that is now broken out by in-stream, in-feed, and shorts. So already, based upon the ad format, you'll be able to see it broken out by the ad type. But if we actually go into the campaign and then go into the ad group, you will have all of your different ads here. So if you've uploaded several horizontal, several vertical, your six second bumper ad, but it'll be easier when it's broken out by the specific ad to know which one was vertical, which one was your bumper ad, and then viewing the metrics that way. This will give you the information needed to go back into your campaign settings and potentially turn off some of the options for your multiple ad formats within your video reach campaigns. So that is an updated look on video reach campaigns with the newer feature added to the efficient reach campaign subtype. Hopefully you got it by now, but I can't stress enough that the main goal of this campaign is to build awareness and then get in front of as many unique users as possible. Whenever we create this type of campaign, we're looking at awareness, reach, and frequency first. Conversions are just icing on the cake. If we get them from this campaign, great, but that is never our primary goal. If you have any other questions about the new feature enhancement or just video reach campaigns in general, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.